Here's another nice product that uh, no at-home do-it-yourself gunsmith or gun tech should be without. There's probably a dozen or so other great uses you could come up with for this little device here, but uh, predominantly it's best suited for exactly what it says, gauging your trigger pull. This is the newest Lyman digital trigger pull gauge, and uh, this is going to be the unboxing as it were. Maybe it's unbagging since it comes in this nice uh, padded portable pouch if you will. Um, tote handle, zipper, closure. Open it up and everything is uh, nice and neatly stowed inside. Um, from left to right you've got this uh, little storage pocket you could put uh, miscellaneous tools or what have you in. I've got all the paperwork and everything, the receipts and so forth that came with it. If uh, I ever have an issue or a question about it, um, you have the pull bar here that uh, obviously threads onto the uh, the meter and uh, allows for you to uh, you know pull, pull your trigger so to speak, right? So I'll go ahead and unhook that. It just has these little uh, tabs that velcro down and hold it there but um, got a freewheeling bearing on this end and then a adjustable thread depth on this end and this basically acts as the uh, locking knob when you assemble it so we will set that up there got a little storage pouch right here uh, it runs on 9 volt batteries and conveniently enough copper top so keep your spare battery on hand and then you have the actual device itself which uh, as you can see velcros down it's got this strap right here and then it has another one up at the top and then all of this is like I don't know with three mil maybe five mil uh, foam padding sewn in or sewn excuse my poor grammar sewn into this uh, like uh, I guess that's like Cordura that's what it feels like but uh, anyway so you get your nice little carrying case and we'll just sit this right over here let you uh, look at that out there in YouTube land so you uh, you got your meter this is uh, basically how it works battery compartment on the back you slide that down uh, and your 9 volt battery goes inside Ooh. Hey, look at that. I dented the crap out of that wire there. Let me tuck that down. Hopefully that's not getting snagged yet. There we go. Okay. So um, this is the meter. It's plastic. Um, it's definitely got some metal inside of it because it's got a fair amount of weight to it. You have a 12 pound maximum load limit. And then this is the, uh, the pull head. So you would take your rod and uh, thread it in here a good ways. You can bottom this out and it will bottom out before it completely runs all of these threads. So that's why I keep this thread locker which spins independently about the halfway point so as not to go too far. So get it in there around halfway or so and then you just twist that down and that kind of clamps it in place. The, uh, the meter will let you read in uh, pounds or metric. Um, you can run averages for the group, whether you want to do two pound, or not two pound, but a two pull average, or a ten pound, or there I go, pound again, ten pull average. So normally when I do it, I'll do three or five pulls, and then I'll hit the average button, and it'll give me what the average uh, pull weight is on your trigger. So to turn it on, you simply hit ready. It skews through its uh, screen there and uh, there you go zero pounds zero ounces is the current reading and like I said if you wanted to switch over you could go to uh, kilograms or GM what is that? is that grams grams and kilograms and uh, if you had a couple settings you would then clear it and uh, carry on but um, we'll go ahead I've got uh, my trusty Glock 22 over here just give you a uh, example of how it works now there's no mag in here and breach is clear nothing inside so we're safe 
All right, so she's now cocked, triggers forward. Mm. So you reach up here, sit your little bearing wheelie deal on the trigger, and get it centered up, and you come down to your screen, and what you want to do is you want to pull straight back with the, uh, the line of the bore. All right, once you set, you clear it, ready, you hear the little tone, start pulling, 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 pulling. Oh, look at this. I'm a dum-dum. <laughs> it slipped off. This is hard to do from this crazy angle. Let me reset that and try again. Okay, so you've got your bearing set up, like I said, and um, what have you. Set that up there. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Oh, I see my arm didn't quite get tight. Let me uh, tighten the arm down some more. All right. You need to do this with my other hand. All right. So trigger, <laughs> trigger is cocked. All right. And again, remember, once you set the uh, bearing on the trigger surface and you're set up, you then hit ready. And you want to pull straight back with the line of the bore until it snaps. So that was a five pound, ten and a half ounce break. So we'll rack it. And you'll hit ready again. Set up the bearing just like before. Pull straight back. That was a five pound, six ounce break. So we'll rack it again. Set your little bearing up on the uh, trigger. You hit the ready button. Pull. Four pound, 7.7 .7 ounces. Well, that was kind of an odd pull there. It must have wibble wobbled a little bit. But anyway, typically that trigger breaks right about five and a quarter, five and a half pounds. So anyway, so that was my last one of the three. So we'll hit average. And that tells me that it's a five pound, three ounce, which is five and a quarter pound average trigger for those three pulls. Easy, easy. And, um, you know, there it is. So, anywho, um, it's about 75, 80 bucks, I think, for uh, this particular unit. Um, you know, comes with a nice carrying case. Lyman's reputable company and whatnot, so you know I'm probably going to get a good long life out of this. It has an automatic off feature. Um, after five minutes of no use, it will time itself out. You can see right there. I was talking about how you uh, thread it about halfway in. See the threads go from here to here. Yeah, that's usually a pretty good mark, and then use that to lock it down. But uh, anyways, that's the uh, basic operation of uh, this device. I like it. It's super easy, especially when you're not on uh, videotape and trying to fumble it and pay attention to keeping it directly in the screenshot and all that. So forgive my bumbling there, but uh, I assure you, super easy, super reliable. It's consistent with uh, my old spring scale gauge, which I used to use, but have officially retired and moved on up to the uh, modern technology world. Anyway... This is the uh, Lyman Trigger Pull Gauge Kit, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot. You probably enjoy it yourself. And uh, if you have any other questions or anything regarding this item that uh, I might be able to help answer or what have you, by all means, pop the question down there. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button. If you didn't, hey, I want to know about that too, so go ahead and comment or direct message me below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what I can do to make it better for you. In the meantime, YouTube, this is uh, Skippy02. One more product review in the bucket. We're out of here. Take care of yourselves. Be well. God bless. Thanks for watching.